All right, guys. I, uh, I've had a lot of questions about uh, the jigs and the setups that I use for the black sea bass. So instead of answering them one at a time, I figured I would just do this little, little video. Two main rods I used that day um, are my my lose. This is a lose custom XP speed stick um, with the custom XP speed spool reel. Uh, it's a seven foot. It's a uh, medium, I believe. Uh, medium heavy. Um, it's. Uh, I got it. I got the setup at Bass Pro. Um, it wasn't a terribly expensive one. Um, I think it was 130 to 160 in that range. Um, it's probably more geared towards freshwater bass, but I'm a salt guy and I just don't care. Um, it's held up really well. Um, I, I have had to take the cover off and regrease it, um, but it has performed really nicely. Um, the only downside is the drag is not the strongest. Then again, it's probably more geared towards freshwater bass. But um, for the most part, it's been decent. I mean, the Bonita and the Chub Mackerel, I believe I got both of those on that rod. I got many, many stripers on that rod, and it's done well. I will not use it for tog. It's just not strong enough. However, I was using it that day, and it was catching good good tog, but they're not buried in the rocks like in the fall. So, but the other rod I used is this. This is the used one I got from my my good friends down at JB Tackle. Um, this is a Daiwa Zill, Zillion. Um, I bought the real used. And the rod used. It's a G Loomis rod. It's a GL2. Uh, seven foot. And I believe this is a medium action. Or a me uh, medium. Seven foot medium fast action. Uh, it's a seven, another seven foot rod. Again, probably more geared towards freshwater bass. But um, I've been using that since I got it in early, early spring. And it's done really well as well. Um, I, I tend to use this more for lighter jigs and stuff. So I believe I had, um, I believe I had this jig on it and this was the Tog Killer. Uh, this is a Tim Moore edition Mac Daddy jointed, uh, epoxy jig with just a single hook and that is the lure. I believe that's a sand eel color. That is the lure or the jig that was killing the tog. Right there. Uh, and drop it down, just jig it off the bottom. You know, it's a slow pitch technique, which I am just learning. Um, I'm, fort I was, I'm fortunate to have friends who are really good at it. So they've been showing me the way. Um, but that, that jig, was killing the porgies and and especially the tog it was unbelievable now the other jig i used that day is this one and i mean it's 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 got it it's beat up i mean i've already had to change the assist hook um paints <laughs> pretty much worn off of it unfortunately i have no idea who makes it um that's why i'm i'm gonna kind of Get a little close up of it so you can see the colors and whatnot. Because I, I just, I do not know who made it. Um, I don't even know the weight of it. I'm guessing. Well, let's see if I can figure it out. What is this? That is a, I think that's, a, that's an 80. That's an 80 gram. 
This is a 40 gram, I believe. Do, 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 it's a 60 gram. 60. That's probably a 60 gram. Uh, in that ballpark, anyway. It's a, it's a good, heavy little jig. And, uh, you know, as, as you saw in the video, they were killing them. Um, I do not remember which one the black sea bass was caught on. Um, I believe it was the unnamed one, but I'm not, I, I'd have to look at the footage. I don't remember. Um, but both of those jigs performed flawlessly. Um, now, the other, well, I shouldn't even say the other. The video that I have not released yet of the Cape Cod, uh, this Tim Moore edition that Mac Daddy I used, and it was awesome. I used it that day, and it was killing the fish as well. Uh, the unnamed, I believe I did use as well. But the jig that, or the lure, <laughs> that worked great too, is this. This is a Nomad Riptide 90. Or I'm sorry, 105. The Riptide 105. Um, it's a long cast. It's weighted. It, uh, no, there's no rattle. Um, it is a weighted lure. It obviously has two inline singles. Um, but this bait here, <laughs> I was jigging this. I was jigging this off the bottom like a regular jig. And the black sea bass were killing it. So, um, it, like I said, it's a Riptide 105 made by Nomad. And it is a great lure. It does this when it falls. And almost every drop, Black Sea Bass were picking it up. It was unbelievable. So those are the three jigs that I've had very good luck with. Um, the other jig I am going to show you, uh, I have not used, or I did not use in that video, um, or the video in Cape Cod that I haven't put out yet. But if you follow me on uh, social media, you saw the striper or had hints of the striper that I caught off a slow pitch jig. Well, this is the setup right here. This is a, uh, a Daiwa Saltist 15 and the Shimano Grapple uh, rod. Um, and this is the jig. That right there is a Hitman jig. It is a, let's get the real name of it. The Hitman Lures V52. And it is 150, 150 grams. And this jig uh, was designed by Raf, uh, Mr. Dogtooth himself. Um, he gave me this jig. Um, he gave me this jig after the Buzzards Bay day. Um, he was out there fishing with us. And at the end of the day, he gave, he gave me this jig. And uh, I will treasure this jig because that caught that sweet bass. Um, so, yeah, that is another one. Now, Hitman, um, it's a little tough to, to buy them um, because they're from Japan. And I did go on their website to try to figure out more about this jig. And unfortunately, I do not read Japanese. So I do not know what they cost. Um, I do not know anything other about them than he gave me that jig and it works but it's the hitman company um, out of japan and it's phenomenal uh, i'm hoping to uh to get more on that jig i will be i will be dropping that down so but these three are the jigs that i used uh, for the black sea bass and porgies and tog that is, like I said, that is a Mac Daddy Tim Moore edition. Um, and it's the jointed epoxy jig. And it just, it just, it, it killed the tog. This unnamed, unknown jig, um, that worked really well as well. And then the Nomad Riptide. So, any one of those, um, and, uh, and you'll be good. And uh, as far as the, the, the rods and reels, um, you know, I, I've, I'm gonna throw this, this third one in the mix. This is 
Abu, Ab, yeah, an Abu Garcia, Black Max. Um, it's just a, a cheapie. Um, the rod broke. Um, so I know I have a Fenwick, that Fenwick rod I picked up. But the real, the whole setup, um, I think I got for like 89 bucks. Um, it was a heavy, uh, uh, a seven foot heavy, um, fast action, I think it was. Um, but the, the rod did break, but the reel, it's, it's, it's a good reel. It really is. It casts decently. Um, and the drag on it is phenomenal for a cheap ass reel. The drag is phenomenal. That is my tog reel. Um, I'll be using, I'll be using my Dio Assaultist, uh, for tog as well, but uh, my other setup for Tog is is this Black Max. Um, it's not even a, it's 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 not a great reel at all, but the drag is phenomenal. Um, so I did use it that day, um, both in Cape Cod and uh, in Buzzards Bay. Um, but I, the jig I had on it really wasn't successful. Um, but that is a good one. So, I mean, any, there again, it's probably more geared towards freshwater bass, but I don't care. So, I mean, any of these, these style, as long as you're careful and, you know, you maintain them, they're going to do just fine. Um, so, those are primarily what I use. I like the challenge of the lighter uh, uh, gear. Um, I mean, yeah, I can use my, my big... My big pen warfare, yeah, I can use that, but you know, where's the fun in that? Um, so, any of these types of uh, bait casters will do just fine. I mean, like I said, this this little custom speed stick, I am, I'm really impressed with. Um, like I said, I got it at Bass. And I want to say it was 130 to 160 range. I don't remember, and I don't have the receipt anymore. Uh, but that's worked really well. So any one of these uh, these setups will do. And any one of these jigs will uh, work great. I mean, I, I have plenty of other jigs. But I just picked up a bunch of Daiwas and um, some other Nomads. But these are the jigs. I, I recommend that Tim Moore Mac Daddy. Um, um, I'm going to play with that in the fall. I'm probably going to pick up some more, but I'm going to play with that in the fall with Toggin to see if I can outfish crabs even in the fall. Um, that'll be interesting. So stay tuned for that. But I hope this helps. Um, you know, look up those uh, those companies. Uh, Nomad, not a clue, and uh, Mac Daddy, Tim Moore edition. Um, look up those and uh, pick them up and um, start throwing them because they just they killed them absolutely killed them so I hope this helps I uh, hope you enjoyed it and um, until next time I'll see you out there